In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add font awesome icons to your WordPress site using a free plugin from the WordPress repository. It's simple, it's fast, it's free. You'll be adding icons to your WordPress site by the end of this video. We're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's add these font awesome icons using a plugin. I'll see you in the screen capture. Adding font awesome to your WordPress site using the better font awesome icons plugin is super simple. The first thing we have to do is install the plugin. We're going to go over to plugins and then add new and look up better font awesome icons. This is the only one up here. I shown have icons in the title, just better font awesome. So we click on install now. You always wanna make sure you back up your site before you install a new plugin. I'm on my demo site here, so I'm not too concerned about it. And we activate it once it's installed. And really that's all the setup you need. You can now start incorporating font awesome icons. There are a couple settings that the better font awesome plugin adds. So you can get to them by going to settings and then better font awesome. You can choose the version number that you wanna display always the latest is a default option. Use minified CSS for faster load times. Check or uncheck that. This may break something on your site. You may have to uncheck it. Depends. You have to try it and see. Remove existing font awesome is if a theme, for example, includes font awesome libraries in the theme code. This tries to remove that so you're not loading it twice. Hide admin notices. So these are warnings that appear for whatever reason in the admin area. You can choose to hide those by selecting that. Choose your options here. Click on save. Then we have some usage options, which we're going to go over on the Font Awesome site itself. We're using Font Awesome 4, which is the latest one, 4.7.0 as of this recording. And this is how you include things. This is what they show you on the Font Awesome website. This is a short code added by the plugin itself. So if you include Font Awesome code manually, I have another video for that. If you want to do it without a plugin, you'd use this and not short codes. But if you head over to the Font Awesome library, which you can get to by going to fontawesome.io and then click on icons and then all icons, you see 675 icons included in 4.7.0. And this is them. It's a big list. You can actually spend a fair amount of time just finding the perfect icon for whatever you're doing. When you do find the one you like, you click on it and then it gives you the code to include on your site. You just copy that and paste it, or since we're using this fancy plugin, we have our short code here. We would just add the upload tag. So if we take this short code, let's just do this live, add a new page, let's call this font awesome. And we paste that code into here, click on publish, then view the page. We see our coffee cup right here. Now we can add some of these other things if we want to class fa-2x, if we copy that and put that into our short code, that will make the size of the icon twice as large. Just publish this page, go back out here and refresh, and this cup will be twice as big. Whoops, I took off the ending square bracket, try that again. Now it's gonna be twice as big when we refresh. And we can go all the way up to 5x, so we can go 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x. So we can get quite large. We can use these other options to rotate. And there's actually even more features. If we go back to the Font Awesome website itself and go to examples, we see how to include basic icons up here. The sizes again right here up to 5x. We can have fixed width icons, list icons, bordered and pulled icons, animated icons, we can rotate them and flip them in various ways, stack them, incorporate them in Bootstrap. You wouldn't be using a plugin for this part. This would be all manual for Bootstrap. But we can do a lot of stuff with these font awesome icons. And inside, actually we wanted to first make this an upload. Now I remember. That's how easy it is to change the type of icon. We pulled that from the font awesome icon website a moment ago. Go back out here refresh this page, now it's gonna be an upload icon. And that's how easy it is to change icons. Super simple. And this plugin also adds an insert icon button to your WYSIWYG editors. So you can click somewhere in your content down here, click on insert icon. It gives you a list you can scroll through, or you can type things like animal, Let's see if they have animals in here. No animals, 
tree? Yes, there's a tree. So it adds a short code for tree. You don't need to have this unprefix class in here. If I could click out of here, you don't need to have that. But you can add the different sizes and add the rotations if you want. Click on update, refresh this page, and now you have a little tree icon right there. The great thing about Font Awesome icons is they're scalable without losing quality, which is important. Graphics are rarely done that way. That's one of the reasons Font Awesome icons are so popular. The other reason is you used to have to do this with images, whereas now you can just use CSS through Font Awesome and other icon libraries. It doesn't require another HTTP request to your browser when the page loads, so it increases load time by using CSS instead of images for these. Another reason they're so popular is because there are so many. If we go back to the icons, 675. Out of all these, you must be able to find one that you like. Although we just did a search, there's no animals, but there are other icon families that will have animals in them. So you just use those and they're incorporated in a similar way. You may have to do it manually. There may be a plugin for it, but either way you can incorporate them to your site and then use the animal icon. So that's how easy it is to add font awesome icons. If you don't want to use the plugin, I also have a tutorial showing you how to do this without a plugin. I've linked to it down below, so you can check that out if you want. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.